Jewfish are one of those species that you can spend hours and hours chasing, and I know I certainly have myself. They can be found in coastal estuaries and offshore, but chasing them from the rocks and off the beach is a challenge like no other. Want to learn a little bit more? Well, come with me. Jewfish are one of those species that everyone has on their bucket list, but they can be very difficult to catch. But on the north coast of New South Wales, they can at times be very consistent, and most rocky headlands and deep gutters should hold good numbers of fish. The toughest hurdle for anyone is finding where the fish are. So I've brought along some friends. I've got Sam Gilchrist, who's a Coffs local and knows this area very well. And I've also brought along Andrew and Nick from Hook, Line and Sinker. Hopefully we can show them a thing or two, or it may well be the other way around. Some of the places to find Jewfish can be hard to get to, so we've got a four wheel drive, in this case an Isuzu D-Max Ute. It's more than capable of heading up the beaches and through the bush tracks to get us to the better producing headlands and beaches north of Coffs Harbour. Yes, another day and another off-road adventure for us in the D-Max Dykes, but the pressure's off us because uh, this is all Dom's show. Yeah, Dom's brought us up here, Andrew, and he wants to catch, he says, he catches Jewfish off the beach <laughs> up here. Which, I don't know if you know anything about catching Jewfish off the beach, but it doesn't happen go, go, go. that easily. No, look, we've been doing a fishing show for a lot of years, um, and we've never really done We've sat there four days and not even got a bite, so I don't know. I had a word with Dom. I said, look, don't set this up as a Jewfish fishing segment because you're just asking for trouble, but he's forged ahead. And I don't know, that's Dom for you, I suppose. It should be just up here somewhere. He's towing a trailer in on the sand, which is always problematic. Uh... He does seem to know what he's talking about, though, when it comes to four-wheel driving and beach driving. Mm -hmm. He really does. Yeah, he's an expert in that yeah, field. An yeah, expert. him and Ron Moon. The only access to this campground is via a small creek crossing. And it's important that you don't charge headfirst into the water without checking the depth first. So get out of the car, walk across the creek, and make sure there's no deep sections. Once you've done that, engage four low and slowly approach the creek and the water at a steady pace. You don't want to go too fast at all. Luckily here, the bottom is quite rocky, so the chances of getting stuck are quite low. If it's more of a sandy bottom, you definitely don't want to get stuck in the middle of the creek, so keep the momentum and the power going without spraying water everywhere. And make sure you keep an eye on the bottom to see where the shallow sections are. Sometimes polarised glasses will help with that. This bit is a kind of fun. I do enjoy this sort of stuff. It really feels like you're getting off the beaten track, and this car is perfect for this. It's rugged and it's tough. Once we had safely navigated the creek crossing, we used the daylight hours to set up the camp. We've added a bare camper trailer to the back of the car and we've brought that along particularly for the hook line and sinker guys, who are clearly used to much more luxurious accommodation than your humble swag. It's all I've got and it'll keep me more than happy. Right, so a big rock off this one, Drew. Ooh. Got a quite a reasonable looking bed there. Comfortable night, Nothing awful night, terrible night on the stretcher. <laughs> oh yes, oh yeah. <laughs> Don't fall over. With camp set up and the rock off between Andrew and Nick out of the way, it's back into the cars and up to the north end of the beach to fish a gutter, which should produce, we hope, the Jewfish. We've done quite a bit of uh, beach driving now in a D-Max, haven't mm -hmm. we? D-Max, M-U-X, yes we have. What have you learned? What are the well, takeaways? I think they're just very good for it because we've never been bogged once. You turn the uh, traction control off, yep, put that's it in full drive, and it's just a fantastic toy to play with on the sand. 
So Malawi off the beach mm. and indeed off the rocks. No one wants to fish off the rocks, but it looks a bit rough at this point. Yeah. Um, I guess it's just throwing out a big bait, is it, and waiting? You would think so, although um, he was saying that they like their big soft plastics for this sort of thing, big. so you might be working a plastic. Off the beach? Off the beach. For you? The surf. Yeah, which you would think would be like one million to one. Yeah, you might get a unicorn. Yeah. sun is setting, we've got some cut bait and some worms from earlier and we've also brought some lures down and now is the perfect time to chase dewfish off the beach. You can throw lures into the gutter or cast a bait out. Both will work quite effectively if you choose your time well. With the sun setting and a high tide of 8pm, this is the time I want to be chucking my lure out into the water. and sinker. Could be a Jew here. He's in the Whoa. shallows. There he is. 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 It's the Jew. It is. Yes. It is a Jew. It is the Jew. The Jew. Oh, little Jew dad. On the plastic. How about that? Ah, so there he goes. Mission done. Done. Wasn't me. It was me. I was really. I thought about you. I've changed my mind. That is my first one off the beach on a plastic. Excellent work. How about that? How happy are you with that? I wasn't confident. I had no hope. I was just <laughs> flinging you out there enjoying the serenity. Yeah, well done. Oh, look at that. The boys. You'll notice that Nick um, was fishing and he just catches the rubbish. Yes, I did notice that. He caught that. this sort of rubbishy thing. What was that? A blind, a blind shark. shark. A blind shark. Couldn't even see. Yep, yep. No, that's about right. And then, uh, yeah, just wander down there. A few casts. Lovely and a few off the beach, mate. This camping trip is now officially the best camping trip ever. <laughs> well done. Well done. Let's hope we can get a few more then, eh? Yeah, are we going to let him go? Eat I him? think so. We'll let him go, this one. All right. We, I think we can do better. All right, okay. Well, look, I'm... Who am I to doubt you? Would you like you? the honours? Who am I to doubt you? Yeah. Sometimes some people have all the luck and we're fishing here with a guy who's never thrown a soft plastic for a dewfish off a beach and he hooks one within the first half an hour. Which is no mean feat. These things are very tough to catch but very exciting to see someone catch one for the first time. And as you can tell, he was suitably impressed. After a successful night's fishing and a comfortable sleep for everyone except Nick, who had to endure the horror of the stretcher, we had breakfast consisting of some fish that we'd caught the previous night before our friends had to leave. Had a great few days here chasing dewfish off the beach and fishing off the rocks. But unfortunately, gentlemen, it's time for you to go. Dom, thank you. Thank, thank you very you much. Sam, They're off to catch a plane. Hopefully you don't miss the plane. No, we can't miss the plane, it's and non the tide's a little bit high, so we're not gonna drive over. You're gonna have to hoof it, I'm afraid. Yes. All right, well, thanks for that, Dom. Um, no problem. Check the tides. Good luck. That's our tip, check the tides. <laughs> uh, Thanks for everything, Dom. 